the lengthy tube will be placed from the arm to the, uh, the desired site of blood vessel through which we are going to enter guide wires and then steps. This is guide wire, this is lifeline. Through the catheters, we will introduce the wires. Wire is made up of three compounds which will be shown in pictures. This is the picture. Tip, distant tip, proximal tip, fourth, that's covering. This is the classification of how, how it is being made, what are its characters, because the vessel character differs from individual to individual. And in the same individual from different times. If it is thrombosis, it will be slippery, it will be very easy. If it is uh, calcified, it will be very tough to enter. So it depends upon that the situation, anatomy, common anatomy it is needed. Various types of wire. Coating also. Depends on where we do, what we do. This is a balloon. So here balloon, the tip is designed for any proper entry. That uh, next is a uh, system. That shaft is for crossing over the lesion and is sticking on the lesion. Various, various diagrams of balloons and here the lower one. This one. Before and the plastic. This was before angioplasty, this is after angioplasty. That is, the human gate opens, the scent is in position. What are the stents? How they are made up of? All of them are basically metal. Some uh, metals, they undergo stenosis. It, the chance of restenosis is high in some forms, in, the, in some patients. So, for which we have developed drug diluting stent. That is, the drug will prevent. Uh, that is obstruction, that is either thrombosis or instant cirrhosis. First is bar metal, second is uh, drug eluding, that is polymer coated, which is biodegradable, non biodegradable, or currently they are under innovation of biovascular scaffold. This will stay there for two years, then it gets disintegrated. The, like suture material getting absorbed during surgery, then it gets absorbed by the body system, the lesion will vanish in future. So, why, what is the need for integration? We have already told. For the block, only two treatment. First is medical, most important. Other than that, either stent or surgery. Suppose patient not willing and uh, recurrent surgery. Not willing, stent may be the better option. As I already told, 90% of the stents now imported. It is costing minimum about 1.5 lakhs to 2.5. Uh, our Indian sense after this, it has reduced the price to about 19,000 to 1 lakh. So, this all these expenses from 80% from our pocket only, not from other sources. So, it makes us more poor. Historical perspective. Kalam Rajasthan, not our old present, this is another person. By DRTO and CAR Foundation, medical community. They have designed one stand in 1996 and the first implanted in 1999. From that, they have implanted about 5 to 22. Procedure is success, one month success over, but due to the lack of radial strength, beginning, it has been uh, withdrawn. This is the first strength developed by Indians, Indian community, put in Indian patients. For the device development, we need imitation, improvisation, and innovation. Innovation, hybrid design of stent, closed and open cells. What do you mean by closed cells, open cells means? Stents are already, I told, it is like a network, spring. If all these are like interlocked, this is closed. Some interlocked, next is uh, open, next is closed. That means open cell design. Why open cell is needed? Whenever through main artery we want to enter the side artery, whenever there is opening in between this uh, cell, we can easily enter. Otherwise, it is difficult to pass the balloon everything. So, hybrid design, polymer free stent. Why polymer free stent? Polymer is a, well, one of the cause for late restenosis. That's why. Newer duct coating. Better duct. Tapering design. Coronary artery slowly tapers. So, straight away, like our water pipe, we cannot design. It should be slowly taper. This is the model for stent. Open and cell design. Improvisation. Things start. 
for better de deliverability. Then study the CC data, long length. Now, uh, now we are facing longer than lesions in India. In for short lesions, longer than lesions not much, uh, there is, uh, it is not much common. Here it is very, very common. We are using many longer lenses, so it is needed. Biocompatible polymer, if you, if you, if you can able to uh, discover and uh, detect, it will be useful. Biodegradable also, biocompatible or biodegradable or better drug release kinetics. Imitation. I have told you, bio reabsorbable scaffold, just like during surgery, that the suture middle gets absorbed, some of the middle. Just like this uh, vascular scaffold also, it will, it will get absorbed over two years. If the person maintains the lifestyle modification, like uh, uh, removal of unwanted habits, just a uh, good sportive activity, exercise, and minimal drugs, the coronary artery will not come. Otherwise, it can come. That's why the bio absorbable, those who, who can able to exist, they can use young, young persons uh, capable of uh, realizing this mistake and uh, adapting to health, uh, healthy new healthy uh, lifestyle, it will be uh, working very well. If, if you are keeping on going uh, by smoking, by uh, unhealthy diet habit, we will once again go for resources. Now, if not at that side, uh, at some other side. So, what are the advantages to the clinician by this biodegradable stent? By this, not biodegradable, any generic Indian stent, it's a long length. So far, we are not having long length. We are having maximum 3.5 by 4 in a cell. There, that uh, long length is uh, stenosis, there is uncommon there. So, long length is needed for us. Liberty to use additional stent. If it is very uh, economical, we can use many stents in the same patients. Tapering stent may be useful in long lesions. Why tapering stents? Proximal diameter may be 4, distal diameter may be 3.7. So the same diameter we can't use. So we can optimize in proximal and distal. So what is the advantage for this patient because of our DGN stent? Affordable DES. DES itself is very affordable. Now DES is being supplied at the rate of 30. It starts from 30,000. Once it has been minimum 1.5 lakhs. Incorporation of light testing features of indigenous stents. What are the limitations in our setup? We are using the stent only limited setup. Much of the clinical data, we are not conducting prospective study, only retrospective study we have. Only the time will be the answer. So long, uh, at the end of one month, up to six months, the mass, that is major adverse cardiac events, is good in Indian state. But we don't know about long term results. Uh, for instance, first lunch about 12 days ago, 13 days ago, there also about 50% durability is questionable if we don't adopt a good lifestyle. Here, the time will be the answer, but so long, so far, it is good. It is in par with our uh, abroad sense. So very important to generate good scientific evidence. This is not it. This is the study, Indian study. Our various manufacturers are there. They are given. We have put. We will tell our experience. This is also Indian experience, not our SRM experience. Indian experience. It says in short, almost that acute events, one month, about six months, that everything, every way, the trouble free interval is in power with the Western stand. Scope for improvisation. Delivery system, how to deliver visibility. Visibility is more important. Only when it is visible, some of the sets may not be visible. We can correctly oppose it. When we don't correctly oppose it, it can cause resources or thrombosis. So indigenous stents use in SRM. It has been uh, Active only about for the past one year only we are very active. So these are the Indian medicines we have used. All these Indian medicines so long, so far, they have been good. They have started using long length also when uh, in contrast with the foreigners. Foreigners not uh, having experience of long stent. This is the angiogram. First, there is a coronary block is there. This 
This is they have placed it, stake to that, at lower side. Indian set only. Yes, this is everything is over. Initially, it has been a thin structure, thin tube layer, tube layer structure. This is right corner here, after, after same placement. No concrete long term data uh, is available. We are putting for about first only one year. So, up to six months, it is in par with the other stents. FDA approves For success of an implant, as I already told, the implant, that is a stent and stent delivery system, should be proper, properly prepared, properly designed. Implanted, that is what ourselves, we should be familiar where it can go, how it can be placed. Then implant the site, that site should be acceptable. If it is a calcified site, very rough site, fibroid site, can, it can't accept it. Implant the patient, comorbid or unhealthy lifestyle, may not work. If a healthy lifestyle, yes, it will work. There is no universal strength. It depends upon many factors as it is given here. Indigenous sense is low cost. More PTC can be reached with even common rickshaw walas and common persons. So in conclusion, percutaneous cavity intervention in India has entered an exciting phase with newer technology. Long term data yet available, but short, uh, short term data in par with the FDA approved stents. Executive summary. The overall summary, Kalam Raju Stent was the first indigenous stent to be developed in India. The introduction of indigenous stent has led to a significant drop in prices of all stents in India, about uh, two-third to three-fourth of that uh, price drop. Available clinical data with indigenous bar button stent, Gopal Chromium, showed good results with the lower MS, major cardiac, adverse cardiac events, and low incidence of stent blockage. So indigenous drug with the biodegradable polymer showed excellent clinical outcome similar to permanent polymer, biodegradable. So our ICMR is also planning to do the long term study of this. We are also planning in future. This is, it doesn't matter how many resources we have. If you don't know how to use them, it will be never enough. Thank you. I request for... Uh, innovative designs have led to its evolving. Uh, it has evolved a lot from the uh, from the ones that were generally made before. Uh, innovation has led to hybrid designs of stents, polymer-free stents. Improvisation has led to thin stents which have a better deliverability, long lengths, biocompatible polymers, biodegradable polymers, and better drug release kin kinetics. It has a lot of advantages, such as it is very long, so that's why you are able to uh, use them in a much a complex situations. Tapering stents for long lesions, liberty to use additional stents. Advantages to patients is that it has affordable uh, DES, and also limitation to, uh, which have come out from this is that it is only it can only be used for short term studies due to biodegradable biodegradability. Uh, they, the Indian made stents are mostly from companies like Innova and BioMine. Uh, stents mostly are placed inside for a year and then after that they have to be replaced. Uh, this is all that I have been able to conclude of the speech. Thank you. The procedure is done under the CM, right? Yeah. So you see the procedure happening. 
But what kind of additional visibility we are looking for in the stands which should, which should help you? And flexibility and the stack thickness. After this came the third generation, which was platinum chromium. Platinum chromium is very visible and you can afford to make very thin struts and it's very flexible. But unfortunately, that uh, technology is now a proprietary technology of Boston Scientific and they have the patent for it. So, we still don't have indigenous tents with platinum chromium platform. Platinum chromium is very visible, actually, it's like uh, you know, you don't have to strain your eyes to see it. Whereas now, there is another technology called Stent Boost, which comes from Philips, which is an augmentation, where it augments the uh, stent. The technology is private limited. Mr. Rawat received his Bachelor of Engineering degree in Chemical Engineering from Sarvajanic College of Engineering and Technology in 2000, and his Master of Technology in the field of Drug Elution Kinetics at Sada Vallabhai National Institute of Technology, Surat. He joined Sahajanan Medical Technologies Private Limited in 2001 in the Research and Development Department as a Research Engineer. He now works as an Assistant General Manager in the Department, supervising various research activities. With more than 14 years of broad experience in the field of medical device industry, he has published many research papers in national and international journals in related fields. He holds few patent applications for the development of novel drug dosage and formulations for cardiovascular applications and related